a 27-year-old Okinawan man has started a hunger fast in order to gain the right to vote for himself and for his fellow citizens. That's right. A young Okinawan man has started a hunger fast. He's currently in day four of the hunger fast it, simply in order to get the right to vote for himself and his fellow citizens. A lot of people think Japan is a democratic country. Think again. It's pretty, it's pretty sad when a young man in his prime has to do a hunger fast just so he can vote. This is insane. Japan is not a democracy. It's just not a real democracy. No. It's not. It's really not. Okay. All of its citizens deserve the right to vote. And no one should have to do a hunger fast just to vote. Okay? Like, <laughs> this, I, cannot, I cannot explain to you just how ridiculous this is. Um, Japan, under the leadership of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, is really not a democracy. It's more like a fascist country, okay? I'm not the only one saying this, okay? There are a lot of people out there also saying this, both within Japan, in Okinawa, and outside. I, I, me and my fellow um, Okinawans here in Hawaii, I mean, there are, there are quite a few of us who believe that Japan is actually a fascist country and that Shinzo Abe is a dictator. He's not a democratic leader, and as long as he remains in power, Japan is not going to be a true democracy. Japan is, is uh, it's like a fascist country, kind of like it was during World War II. Uh, oh, man. So, uh, there are quite a few people who are worried about... His name is Jinshiro Motoyama. Jinshiro Motoyama is his name. There are quite a few people, including myself, who are worried for his health. He's already in day four of the hunger fast. And uh, there's no telling how long this might last. Hopefully, it'll be over soon. Hopefully, um, um, he and his fellow citizens will be given the right to vote. What they're asking for, in case you're wondering, is... Um, there's an upcoming referendum being held in Okinawa on February 24th. This is a very important referendum, okay? Very important for the, the Okinawan people. It's a critical issue. It's going to have a huge impact on the future for all Okinawans worldwide. Not just those in Okinawa, but worldwide. Even the Okinawans living overseas like myself here in Hawaii. There are at least like 300,000 Okinawans living overseas. So, you know, quite a bit. This referendum is going to impact each and every one of us. Every single Uchinanchi or Okinawan person in the world. It's going to impact all of us. It's going to impact all of our friends too. Our friends and family who maybe are not Okinawan. Uh, but, um, you know, our, our supporters... Of the Okinawan people, yeah, it's gonna hurt them too. It's gonna hurt um, everyone worldwide. If this this is about uh, the coral reef, it's about saving the coral reef at a place called Hinoko on Okinawa Island. It's a precious coral reef. It's a it's a bay. Um, it has hundreds of rare and in endangered species, such as the Okinawan dugong. Um, it's being called the second most biodiverse reef in the world. Second only behind the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, some people are calling it the Hanama Bay of Okinawa. So if you're familiar with Hanama Bay here in Hawaii, then uh, you can imagine what, what this bay is like in Okinawa. If you've never seen it in person. I have seen it for myself. Uh, many of us, many of the... Uchinanchu, the Okinawans here in Hawaii, we have traveled 
um, to Hinoko in Okinawa, and we have been there, and we've seen it for ourselves, okay? Um, just, I cannot possibly explain how huge of an environmental disaster this is going to be. If this base, there, the Japan government is currently building a new U.S. military base over this reef. They're going to destroy the reef to build this base. This is going to be an environmental disaster. So if any of you out there care about the environment, please, please uh, pay attention to this issue. We have a petition to try to save it. We already have over 200,000 signatures in spite of uh, heavy censorship from Japan, from the government of Japan under Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. We've been heavily censored online and even in the, the print press. The, the mainstream media in Japan, they've also been censored a little bit. Um, when they interview me, I've had I've had members of the press say, wow, thank you so much for your interview. It's really great. It's really interesting. But unfortunately, um, we don't think that all of it is going to get past Japan's censorship. <laughs> they've actually told me this. Okay. So whatever you're seeing in the press, if you've seen any um, press about me in either Okinawa or Japan, that's not like the full extent of what I'm saying. That's only part part of what I'm saying because the other part is being censored by the Japanese government. But you know, right now I'm as I'm making this video, I'm here in Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands. So we have we have a little bit more democracy and freedom here than uh, in Japan than what's going on in Japan. Keep in mind, Japan's only been a democracy since after World War II. So it's actually not very long. Democracy is a fairly new concept in Japan. So, you know, we'll, we'll give them a little bit of slack. But uh, let's not let's not give them too much slack, okay? Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, he he is a bad dude. He's the he's the grandson of a class A convicted war criminal. That's right. His grandfather was a class A war criminal convicted during World War II. Yep. That's the guy who's leading the nation of Japan right now. He's trying to, well, he, he already abolished, um, the, uh, the, uh, tenure laws. What's it called? The, um, he already abolished the, uh, the term limit laws for himself so that technically he could stay in power for life if he wanted to um, if the people of Japan don't kick him out um, and uh, he's he's currently trying to restart Japan's military Japan was was banned from uh, having a military after the war but he's trying to change that to restart the military and many including myself believe he wants this new base at Hinoko for himself in the future. And he's just using the US as a cover up. This isn't really for the US military, it's for his own base. He is very prejudiced against the Okinawan people. And uh, he wants to put the military bases in Okinawa to continue to control and dominate the Okinawan people. And also because uh, they don't want the military bases in Japan. So they're saying not in my backyard, put it in in the Okinawans yard, right? Because to them, to the Japanese people, Okinawans are lesser. Yeah, but I should say there are actually quite a few Japanese who do support Okinawans. They've been supporting our movement. They've been supporting our petition to save the coral reef and to stop this military base. They've been supporting um, myself and uh, Mr. To Motoyama and a lot of the other Okinawan um, activists. So there are actually a lot of Japanese people who support Okinawan, support Okinawan rights. Um, so this just shows you that um, not all Japanese people think like Minister Abe. In fact, a lot of Japanese people really don't like Shinzo Abe and the direction he's leading the country in. I know because many of them have contacted me. I'm talking a lot. Hundreds and hundreds of Japanese uh, 
people, not Okinawans, okay, but Japanese, have contacted me personally <laughs> and thanked me for the petition and, you know, um, trying to do my best to help Okinawa. And they've also expressed their their um, distrust in Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Yeah, there's there's a lot of Japanese who really don't like Minister Abe. So there's hope there for the nation of Japan to change its course because the course that that Prime Minister Abe is leading the country in, they're gonna repeat World War II, and it might actually be worse this time. It might be worse because uh, the technology of today is so much more powerful than what it was during World War II. Who knows what's going to happen? Asia should be very concerned, and they are concerned. Korea's concerned, China's concerned. Um, uh, the world should be concerned, okay? <laughs> the whole world should be very concerned about what's what Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is doing in Japan. Just so anyway, going back to Mr. Jinshiro Motoyama, I think he's very brave for doing what he's doing, his hunger strike. And uh, I wish him all the best. Um, I just hope he stays safe. Um, I really hope this hunger strike doesn't last too long because uh, it could be very dangerous for him. I'm not sure if anyone else has, has joined him in this hunger strike, but I know a lot of people are supporting him. Yeah, so he's not alone in, in that regard, but um, myself and many others are, are quite concerned about him. And we are following this uh, situation very closely. So please, I'm asking uh, the people of Japan to please <laughs> tell your government to... Uh, let the Okinawan people vote in this referendum. That's all he's asking for. That's all. Even with this petition, that, that's all we're asking for is give the Okinawan people the chance to vote. Let the people decide is what I was saying. If you look at the, what the petition actually says, that's what that's basically what it's saying is let the people decide. That's the democratic way, isn't it? Isn't that what democracy is about? rule by the people for the people it shouldn't be japan making decisions for the okinawan people because we know japan is very prejudiced against okinawans and they ha always have been for a long long time and it shouldn't also should not be the u.s making decisions for the, the okinawan people okay it should be the okinawan people making decisions for okinawa and that's it Anyway, please support Okinawa. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Please feel free to leave us a comment down below. Doing these things just helps us spread our message across the internet. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.